When you think about Berlin, cherry blossom is probably not the first thing that pops into your mind. But believe it or not, every year in spring the city blooms with pink and white Japanese cherry trees, washing away the misery and despair of winter. Shalom everybody, it's me Amir, welcome back to Go on Berlin. And I was not aware of the awesome amount of cherry blossoms in the city until my third year here. I think every year I saw the pink and white cherry blossom, but I never really stopped to think about it. Because come on, Sakura in Berlin, Japanese cherry blossom in this city. Why? The sakura trees in Berlin are still young and not very tall, a clue for how they got here in the first place. It all started when the Berlin Wall came down in 1989. The Japanese took it to heart and the television network Asai was able to raise donations from countless people across Japan for this beautiful tribute of planting around 10,000 sakura trees alongside where the Berlin Wall once stood. A symbol of peace to celebrate the reunification of Germany. I'm standing in my favorite sakura plantation in Berlin, right next to the station Bornholmerstrasse. To my right, the neighborhood Wedding in West Berlin, and to my left, Prenzlauer Berg in the east, and here stood the Berlin Wall. There are two main types of cherry blossom trees in Berlin. One type blooms earlier and lasts only a few days, and the second type, in my opinion, is much more impressive and stays for a bit longer. By the time this video goes live, type A has already wilted, but type B is opening up and you have a chance to see it for yourself. Just hurry up, it will only last until the end of April. There are other places in Berlin where you can see the cherry blossom. Eastside Gallery is the largest section of the Berlin Wall that is still standing, and it has two plantations, Type A near the Uberbaum Bridge, and Type B closer to the other side of the gallery, on the side of the river Spree. This is the youngest sakura plantation in Berlin, therefore the trees here are quite small. In the northern part of Mauer Park, alongside Schwetterstrasse and the elevation park next to it, a beautiful plantation of type A can be seen. A lot of people are playing here and taking beautiful pictures. The Volkspark on Weinberg is a bit further away from the wall, but there you can find very beautiful and big type B trees. At Britzergarten, there are enormous white sakura trees. They are quite hidden away, so you will have a good excuse to explore the park all by yourself. At the Bridge of Spice, Glinikerbrücke, you can find the first plantation of sakura trees in Berlin. You cannot do a video about sakura in Berlin without mentioning the plantation at Telto Lichterfelde. Every year a big Hanami festival is taking place in this large and impressive sakura plantation. It's a bit far from the city center, but well worth the visit. Another annual event is taking place at the Gardens of the World, Gerten der Welt, in the neighborhood Marzan. Today you can see sakura trees all over Berlin, not necessarily alongside the Berlin Wall. For example, in Kotbusser too, believe it or not, there are pink and white sakura trees that give this place a very unique atmosphere in this time of the year, very different than what we used to. And also in my backyard there is a sakura tree, greeting me every time I throw my garbage away. Lucky me! I also find a practical use for the sakura, it's not only beautiful, I like to dry the flowers in salt and use them for cooking white asparagus. The flavor of the salted sakura flowers is very unique, somewhat like almonds and roses, but also there is something undescribable about it. I will give the full recipe in the blog post, link in the description box below. Also last year I took a big bottle of sake and soaked some sakura flowers in it. I was aging the sakura sake for one year and now it's finally time to try it out.
thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed please give the like it doesn't cost any money i hope you will enjoy the sakura time in berlin and cheers everybody mm. oh yeah it does taste a lot like sake <laughs> The sakura actually is very dominant. There is a strong vegetal note to it. A little bit like spinach, maybe zucchini also. It doesn't taste like flowers, we imagine, but yeah, it's good, I like it.